Hey guys, it's Tyler at Freeland Pickups. Today we are teaching you how to install our preloaded pickguards. So, uh, when you get a preloaded pickguard, you are getting the real deal from Freeland. Um, it's already pre wired, ready to go. All you need to do is solder three separate wires into your guitar. Um, I can explain real briefly you have a white wire and two black wires. Um, black wires are going to ground, and I'll explain where, and the white wire is going to your output jack hot. Um, you're going to just need a few tools to perform that. Um, soldering pencil is definitely what you need. Uh, we don't like soldering guns. Uh, they will demagnetize pickups, and they, uh, they're just unwieldy. So we use soldering pencils. It's a little bit easier to work with. Um, screwdriver, pair of snips, and... Uh, some good quality solder. We use some uh, lead-based solder. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, when you get the preloaded pickguard, as stated, there's three wires, and I will show you where to solder these. Um, one white, excuse me, the white and one black are going to your output jack, and your other black, it doesn't matter which one, is going to go through your body to the string claw. So let's get that done out of the way first. To solder the ground wire for the string claw, what we're going to do is we are going to curl up our output jack wires to a neat little bundle here. And we're just going to stow these for the, for the time being. And there's a hole that's right here. We're going to feed this black wire through the hole. We have the ground wire through the body and we're about to get it soldered on right now. All right guys, so with this wire through, you know, we just want to snip a little bit off. We want a little bit of room to play. So we're going to snip that off there. And with these cloth leads, you can just push back the cloth insulation. And we're going to pre-tin both our connections. So right now we already have a little bit of solder down here. And any, anytime you're heating up something metal, you need a good strong soldering iron. So make sure you don't have a really, really cheap one. Um, nice, nice, you know, this is an 80 watt. It's a little extreme, but um, so I've just pre-tinned this lead and I'm just going to attach it here. All right. So that lead is attached and I can just safely stow this black lead out of the way of the springs. Alright guys, now we're going to install the output jack and uh, get this thing buttoned up. Um, the output jack, I've already installed it onto the jack plate, comes with two terminals, one for white, one for black. So which one do you use? Um, the sleeve is this one right here, so that's going to be your ground. Um, and the easy way to identify this is it's really the one where this metal is this is all around here and you can see that it's just attached so sleeve is ground so that'll be black and this guy that's kind of sandwiched in between these two layers of phenolic is going to be white that's your hot so um, first things first we're going to feed the wires through here into the control cavity alright the pickguard's on I haven't screwed it in yet but I'm um, ready to get this going so we're going to clip a little way from here. I don't need all this. Feel free to keep these leads because they're handy. Um, and I'm going to get the ground on first. So with these leads, what I like to do is put a 90 degree angle kink in them and make a mechanical connection. I also like to pre-tin the lead. So I will do that now. And then we're also going to pre-tin our terminals. So as stated before, this is going to be our ground, that's going to be our hot. I can then push all the wires into the cavity.
and screw it in. So that's it. Hopefully that helps you guys get that into your guitar and ready to rock. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line on the website or shoot us an email at info at and we will talk to you soon.